Hey, hey guys, I'm here with a quick story on Chris Brown. You know what? He can't catch a break. He cannot catch a break. So this lawsuit has been going on for a while, but he's fighting it tooth and nail, and I don't blame him. Um, the housekeeper sister, he had a housekeeper, and his sister um got mauled by his dogs. Okay. Um, so the sister has her own lawsuit, the one that got attacked by the dogs, and then the the housekeeper that was watching um, her sister get attacked, she suing too, saying she's traumatized, okay? She's traumatized because she had to sit and watch while the dogs just tore her sister to pieces, pretty much, okay? And my thing is, I get it. Maybe you was traumatized. I, I don't know, okay? But if you, listen, anyway, the man is being sued. We're going to get into this story, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Um, he got 99 problems, and this lawsuit is definitely one of them. We're going to get more into the story, guys, right after this. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get right into this story. So let me go ahead and share a screen. Um, Chris Brown. Thanks, Fredo Online, right? So Chris Brown demands ex-housekeeper submit to an eight-hour mental exam in battle over a vicious dog attack. So those are his dogs. I wonder um, where the dogs are now. Did he have to do anything with the dogs as a result of this situation happening in his home? Now, this is the worst picture they could have ever selected of Chris, Chris Brown. It's messy, but, you know, it is what it is. What are we going to do? So Chris Brown has demanded his ex-housekeeper sit for a mental examination after she claimed to have been traumatized from watching a singer's dog allegedly mow her sister, okay? According to court documents obtained by Radio Online, the entertainer has asked the court to force his former former employee, Patricia, to show up to be grilled by a medical professional. Now, listen, that may sound uh, mean, but I, I hear him on that. If you're saying you, you suffered mental um, illness over this and you're still suffering to this day, I have the right to bring my medical professionals in the building and see what's good. OK, um, as Radar Online first reported, Brown was hit with two lawsuits over an incident where his dogs attacked the housekeeper's sister. Okay. So the housekeeper demanded unspecified um, damages for emotional distress. She suffered watching her sister be mauled by Brown's um, dogs. Okay. So um, the sister filed her own lawsuit demanding $71 million in damages for her injuries. So both are fighting this. Okay. Are suing him, so to speak. He, the housekeeper is suing because she had to watch her sister get hurt. And then the person that got hurt is suing for $71 million. My thing is, I, was the sister an employee? Because why did you have your sister there while you was cleaning my house? I, I, I need more details on this situation. So in the housekeeper's case, Brown said his house, his ex-housekeeper does not... Um, does not allege to have been bit by the dog, but only claims to have suffered and continues to suffer mental injury as a result of the attack. The housekeeper stated that she still suffers from emotional distress symptoms and that she still requires ongoing treatment to address those problems. His motion read. My thing is, if this happened and she was cleaning someone else's house and not Chris Brown's, would she be suing that person 
And, you know, if the same situation happened with just the average person, would she be suing this person? And would she be claiming this high level of emotional distress and not be working? I don't know. I always question that. I feel like when things happen under a celebrity's watch, people get real extra and they sue for a ton of money. And I think if that same thing happened with the average person, the suit wouldn't even probably happen. Brown said his legal team has made numerous attempts to schedule an examination for the housekeeper, but she has not cooperated. Well, she's probably not cooperating because they're going to probably bust through her whole situation. Okay. Cause I would be the first thing I would be like, well, can you go to the movies? Do you go food shopping? Like how much stress are you under that you can't, you know, you can't do anything because you saw this happen to your system. I'm not saying it wasn't traumatizing, but I'm saying, okay, there's a trauma 24 hours a day that you you deserve a whole bunch of money because you saw the incident happen. Then a lot of us need to be suing because I'm traumatized when I'm driving down the highway and I see an accident and the car is flipped over and looks like the people are really hurt or didn't make it. Okay. So the the singer said the exam will take eight hours with um, various tests. A judge has yet to rule. As RadioOnline.com first reported in a separate case, Brown denied all allegations of wrongdoing. He accused um, the sister of provoking his dogs, which caused the attack, okay? saying she was messing with the dogs, and that's why the dogs attacked him. He accused Doe of causing her injuries when she teased, abused, and mistreated the animal. Brown's lawyer wrote, Doe invited the injuries um, now complained of and assumed the risk of them all with full knowledge of the magnitude of that risk and that she knew her foregoing contact, conduct um, might cause the dog to attack her and seriously injure her, both of which events are alleged to have occurred. The singer recently scored a small victory when a judge postponed the September trial into December to allow him time to gather evidence. Maybe he has um, security footage. See, let me tell you something. If I was a celebrity on this level and I was going to have employees like that in my home, like a housekeeper or maybe security, I don't know, whoever, somebody's coming to fix something. If I had dogs of that size, first of all, I would have them behind the gate, so to speak. You know, you people get crazy sometimes, but I would have the, a big cage for them and lock the, the lock them up in the cage until those individuals that come into my home leave. Because a lot of dogs, they sense things or they feel things. And they, you know, my mom's dog, my mom has a big dog, big dog, and he'll get the barking and his barking will scare a lot of people. So I'm just saying that you have to, when you have people come to your house and you know you have dogs like this, you have to say, do you like pets? Are you afraid of pets? Because pets sense all of that. And they may act different, right? And so, and then everybody want to go, especially that one right there. It looks all fluffy and everything. Everybody want to go pet the dog. And maybe the dog doesn't want to be pet because they don't know you. So Chris, to me, has some responsibility in the sense that he should have had the dogs in the area where they wouldn't be able to attack someone. But at the same time, you as an individual working in this home, you got to speak up too. And I wouldn't be going over there um, touching and, and feeling and playing with the dog, especially if the dog don't really know me. Now, $71 million is a lot of money. I mean, I, was he not home when this happened that he couldn't call the dog off of her? And I wonder, did they make him put the dog to sleep? I need more details on this situation. But either way, I'm going to look back for it because they said the um, case is in December. They're giving him time to gather more evidence. Maybe he has uh, video footage because he should have a whole bunch of cameras in his home. We shall see. Let me know your thoughts on this particular case with Chris Brown. Chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, thanks for watching and welcome back. All of you out there, hit that like button. Chat with me in the comments, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.